Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and uh, Corset N21 is officially spoiled today, so I'm putting together a bunch of deck lists uh, that I'll be playing in the early streamer event uh, next week on the 24th of June. Um, so as always, I throw together a bunch of different ideas. They're really um, intended to be initial drafts that we test out, see what works, what doesn't. Um, some of them are kind of tailored to just try out some of the new cards to see what's good. Um, and keep in mind for the early streamer event, they're best of one decks. So uh, no sideboards. Uh, generally, you want to see what the meta is like before you start sideboarding. You don't know if you need removal, counters, um, certain type of effects uh, that are relevant. Um, so just to kind of jump into this one here. This is a black-white Orzov life gain matters deck. So with the spoiling of a few cards from M21, there's a bit more support to this life gain matters. Um, we had Heliod Suncrowned as a way to put counters on things, but there wasn't really much beyond a Johnny's Pride Mate. In general, a Johnny's Pride Mate's kind of lackluster. You can make this big body, but with the fairy around, it gets bounced, and there's not enough ways to consistently turn it on, I find. So we're playing more of a like a life gain drain style deck. And there's a couple cards we'll uh, we'll look into, but to run it through, uh, we have 12 one drops in the deck, so we are a more aggressive slant. We have all seed of life's bounty, a familiar card um, in a lot of these kind of life gain weenie strategies. Uh, I can also provide pseudo protection. Well, it does protect protection, but by sacking it, Arc Fiend's Vessel is uh, a new card from the set. So it's a one mana one one life linker. And when it enters the battlefield, if it enters from your graveyard or you cast it from the graveyard, um, you can exile it and instead make it a 5-5 flying demon. So this works particularly well with Luris, where we can cast it from the graveyard and then get a 5-5 out of it. Uh, early game, it also is just another lifelink enabler. And then Healer Hawk, an evasive life gain uh, enabler. And then we have Speaker of the Heavens. So Speaker of the Heavens is a 1-mana Vigilance lifelink and you can tap it to create a 4-4 angel token with flying and you can only activate it if your life total is seven, uh, seven or more uh, than your initial so you have to be at 27 life and you can only do it at sorcery speed but it's kind of a way to gain some life and then create an angel go a little bit bigger and evasive um, we have charming prince uh, another way we can gain some life we could blink some stuff as well and just set up our draws uh, we have Daxos, it's worth all our creatures entering. We have Heliod as well. And then we have a couple new cards. We have Indulgent uh, Partition. Um, so this is a 3 mana, 1 4 flying lifelink. The beginning of your upkeep, or sorry, the beginning of your end step, if your opponent gained 3 or more life this turn, each opponent loses 3 life. So if you do a couple points of chip damage, you gain some life, some creatures come in with Daxos, whatever it may be, uh, your opponent will lose 3 life can also like Othakaya your opponent's face and then deal an additional three points. So it's kind of like a lightning bolt with all their creatures. Uh, so we have three of those, three Luris in the main board. Um, pretty much everything from here onwards can be cast. Um, a couple Murderous Riders as removal, and then we have uh, Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Um, so Vito is whenever you gain life, each opponent loses that much life. It's the Sanguine Bond style effect. Um, Pretty much all our creatures have lifelink anyway, so the other uh, activated ability is not as relevant. Um, it is a legendary, so we're only playing two. But overall, um, this is kind of like the strategy here. Um, one thing you may want to do, uh, and looking at this mana base, I'd probably go up another Black Castle. You really have the, the ability with this deck to um, draw cards. You're getting a bunch of life, so you're going to want to refill post uh, like a board wipe or something like that. Um, you could play a Johnny's Pride Mate. You can play the four mana a Johnny that makes Pride Mates as well. I want to go a little bit more aggressive slanted with the deck, but there is a way you can kind of build around with that. Othakaya also serves as removal in the deck along with Murderous Rider. Also happens to gain you life. Uh, you could play stuff like Gideon if you want. Uh, the Bussari, the new White Planeswalker. There's um, Glorious Anthem, which makes all your creatures plus one larger. Uh, if you want to go a bit more weenie based strategy maybe the instead of the charming prince that could be a consideration but this will probably be the shell that i start with um, and then try to build from there 
Um, the mana base wise, like I said, we have some castles. Uh, I would go up another castle in, in looking at this and I'll make the change post this video. Uh, some godless shrines and then some temples. You can also play Fabled Passage if you'd like. Um, I prefer, because our curve's kind of low, I just want to keep um, on curve. So the only tap lines I want are the temples, but they hit both colors. Um, and we're not really on a, uh, an escape deck, so the, the Fable Passages aren't going to be doing a whole lot. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you do have any suggestions, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have any uh, recommendations for videos, I do have a bunch on my Aether Hub right now. So if you want to kind of get a sneak peek while I put these videos out, uh, I'll be kind of updating them as, as I go along. Um, but I'm welcome to any suggestions as always. Uh, and then what I'll do is on the early streamer event, I'll go just kind of take a look at what has the most views, what kind of the most excitement, and uh, we'll play through this. But this is something I'll probably want to try out. Kind of life as a resource, kind of like getting uh, aggressive decks. Um, so that's it. Thanks for tuning in and uh, look forward to playing next week.